Hello Aquarius, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys, hope you guys are doing well, oops, there we go, so this is your general, your general love reading for uh, June, we're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading and see what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself and of course, vice versa as well, guys feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading, it is time stamped, so if you click in the uh, description bar below, click on where it says start reading, uh, that will bring you to the start of the reading. Okay, so this section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on camera. Okay. As I always say, one more, one more. There we go. As I always say, please just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And if this isn't your story, if I don't pick up on your story, stick around and sometimes, you know, sometimes it could be just messages throughout that jump out and speak to you. There we go. One more. And of course, use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go, because ultimately we, we create our own reality. So just give me a moment to just finish laying this card, Aquarius. Give me a minute. There we go. There we go. All right, so just going to take these in and I'll be back. So Aquarius, let's start your reading and of course take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up as uh, this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here, but you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. Okay, and of course you can see extra cards because I needed to just clarify some of these cards and if this isn't your story, you can always check out your other readings which should be pinned in the corner as we speak guys. All right, so just touching on the past. Uh, there's something, and this is the uh, Two of Swords, which talks about not wanting to deal with something, not wanting to uh, look at something. So the energy in the past was definitely around not wanting to deal with something or address something. I feel like it's coming from your end simply because of how you were thinking. There is this communication card. However, once I clarify, because we got, we, we got the Eight of Wands there, which talks about the Eight of Wands talks about communication or information coming in. Uh, this is more about you thinking about communicating something to this person. But when I once I clarified the cards, we've got the Three of Swords that comes up and we've got the Magician card. So the Three of Swords is, yeah, it could be heartbreak. For me, this is more about disappointment, though. I'm not sure whether this is disappointment with this person or just your idea or your thinking around disappointment in the past. Uh, yes, we've got the Magician card there, but again, it's this, you know, as I pull, we've got the Hermit card, which talks about asking yourself those important questions. So I feel like you're not sure about whether you want to move ahead with this or you're wanting to, to um, yeah, I feel like this is more about move ahead with the communication that's showing up there. Because yes, we've got the Magician card. Uh, but we've also got that hermit card on top of that as well. So there's disappointment around this for you. Again, it might not be coming from this person. The disappointment might be coming from maybe past relationship or past experience that you've had because we have that hesitation there with the, the Knight of, of Cups. The Knight of Cups is a very slow moving card. Uh, hesitation, cautious, that type of thing. And that's really stressful. We've got the Knight of Swords, uh, Nine of Swords, on top of that, so worry, stress, anxiety, that type of thing, that's for you in the past though, again, this is the past, well, with your person, yeah, you know, there's recognition for them that there's work that's been put in, but it's not materialized, or it's not reached the point where they're, they're reaping the rewards of the work that they've put in, it's not turned out the way they would like, but it's like they've made a conscious decision with that too. It's like, okay, I'm going to consciously decide. I've consciously decided to still continue with this. Try and do something different. Maybe try to, maybe try another approach. Try to do something different. 
but again it's like yeah that different might not turn out well I might reap or, or get the same results of, of what I have been getting but there is that effort around that for them again this is the past which brings us to where we are at the moment Aquarius it's frosty it's frosty it's uh yeah let's say frosty and that's because it's coming from your end i feel like the ball's in your court the dynamic of the situation is the ball is in your court aquarius yeah you're trying to remain strong you're trying to remain strong around what though regarding what that's not clear for me if i'm honest with you i'm not sure why you're trying to remain strong this could be again internal issues or internal challenges that maybe represent for you in the past or the past with this person but it could be past experiences so it's like i've got this waiting it's like this waiting and waiting for the something to happen and waiting for the green light i'm waiting there's a waiting element with that free again we've got that knight of cups again slow moving cautious very cautious why why are you cautious aquarius when this person i just get this feeling that this person is just willing it's like they're winning so i'm not sure why you're cautious but your challenge is that nine again is this anxiety fear stress worry i don't feel like this person is giving you any reason to to feel like that i just don't i feel like this is disappointment in the past past relationships uh, maybe the childhood stuff going on there for you because this person is showing up as the ape which talks about you know putting in work focusing on putting in effort work because there's a strong attraction that they do have towards you I'm not sure whether this person has communicated something to you because but because they've got communication on their mind with their ape definitely attracted to you physically there's a strong physical attraction that they have with you but there is this communication card so i'm not sure whether they've communicated something to you already but their challenge is getting this off the ground it's like i can't get this off the ground i'm finding it quite difficult to get this off the ground and that's simply because you're putting a stop to it again we're going back to this disappointment that you've experienced in some way shape or form we're seeing it again here in terms of what you want is this focus on this disappointment which is making you very cautious very cautious let's see if this person gives you reason to be cautious whether this is someone that you can let's see i want to clarify a bit more on here um because their challenges are like i said getting this off the ground wanting to move forward and willing to put in that work again we've got that eight of pentacles Let's see if we can soften that for you because we I'm not moving into part two of the reading. I will be implementing that in a couple of weeks, guys. But um, I want to see if we can soften this this cautiousness for you because I just don't feel like you need to be cautious. Yeah, it's a burden. It's weighing heavy on them. And we've got that page of pentacles. Again, it's wanting to do something different, wanting to take this down a new path. Hmm. Yeah, again, we've got the Ace of Wands, but again, that's in their challenge. The Ace of Wands talks about opportunity to create something new, but that's in their challenge. They can't get this off the ground when it comes to you. You're just not budging. You're just not budging. Yeah, they were wanting to move forward long term. This person's wanting long term with that Six of Cups there. Person's wanting long term. Ball's in your court. The ball's in your court, Aquarius, when it comes to this person. It's really about you dealing with whatever it is that's causing you to think and focus on this disappointment that you've experienced whether it's with this person or in the past or past experiences and that past experience could be childhood that could be anything that's caused you disappointment that's had such an effect on you had such an impact on you it's affecting your relationship with this person it's affecting you moving forward with this person and they're feeling it they're picking up on it now let me say something yeah at the moment there is this determination clearly it's like yeah okay things are not working out but i'm still willing to put in the work but i'm not sure how long that's going to last for 
you know, because I mean, come on, there's only so much someone can hold on to a situation that's not, you know, budging really. That's not budging really. Yeah. As I say that, we've got the eight, the eight of cups, which talks about walking away from something. So there is elements of thoughts that they do have around walking away from this. But that's 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 I mean, that's the second clarifying card. <laughs> you know, what they're really wanting is to move forward with this and have it long term. Yeah. So hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity. Like I said, usually we move into part two of the reading for those that want to know what where this moves to next. I will be implementing that in the next few weeks, guys, so look out for that. But Aquarius, yeah, there's certain things that you need to kind of address with yourself when it comes to just carrying disappointment with you and bringing it into relationships that causes an effect. It has an impact. And if it's not with this person, it's going to be with someone else. And then if it's not with someone else, it's going to be, it's going to, it's going to be a continuous journey until you kind of deal with whatever's caused you disappointment in the past, put it down in order for you to kind of move forward. Yeah. So hopefully this has given you some form of clarity. For those of you who don't know, I do weekly singles and love readings. If that's something that interests you, as I say, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Other than that, have a beautiful, beautiful day and I shall see you next week. Bye.